Hey, what's going on, buddy? Lucky with Bigly Sports Cards here. Um, so I think we're gonna start uh, something new on the channel. We'll do this weekly. Uh, we're gonna call it the uh, Weekend Showcase. Uh, so basically, now that all of our uh, graded um, orders are kind of back online here, we should be getting a um, pretty consistent uh, order of graded cards coming in uh, month to month. Uh, that we can do this. So we're gonna be uh, basically showcasing 15 to 25 cards every weekend. Uh, we'll be doing auctions Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, so we're looking at uh, basically the hottest. Uh, Hottest names in the hobby, uh, high grade, right? Uh, nine, nine fives, tens, uh, SGC or PSA. Um, so I wanted to, we're going to showcase these um, every week, and I'll do a video on Friday um, showcasing what we're going to list uh, the week before they come out. And then uh, I'm a little behind on that. I meant to do it last week. So uh, quick recap of basically what uh, what sold out last week. So some great cards, guys. Uh, we had a, a 1920 Optic, so a second year Luca and an SGC ten. Um, uh, uh, this year, 2020 score Joe Burrow, um, an SGC ten. Uh, we had a, uh, this was a big one here. So we had a PSA 10, uh, 2017 Optic, uh, Gridiron Rookie King, or grid, bleh, Rookie Gridiron Kings, uh, the Hollow, uh, PSA 10 of Patrick Mahomes that sold, uh, went for pretty, pretty strong there. Um, a 1920, uh, Contenders RJ Barrett Rookie, the lottery ticket. Um, that was the kind of the green, uh, little shimmer thing with all the, uh, speckle in it. Um, we did a, I sold it, uh, 2018 Penny to Phoenix, uh, Rookie Refractor. Uh, base card of um, Baker Mayfield, uh, 1920 Prism, jo uh, John Morant, Instant Impact Rookie, PSA 10 we sold. Uh, what else here? Uh, 2004 Phillips uh, Flagship, Tops, uh, 2004 PSA 9 Rookie. Um, also a uh, Jim Mint 10, SGC 10, 2020 Panini Prestige, Justin Herbert. Uh, we sold a uh, 2017 Deshaun Watson Rookie, uh, 95 uh, SGC. That's Donruss. Uh, 2020 Panini Chronicles, Chase Young, uh, Select Chrome Rookie, um, that was SGC 9.5, and uh, 20 set. this is a nice guy, this one actually went for a pretty good price here, um, I, I, I thought about, because I like this card so much, uh, 2017 Optic, uh, Tom Brady, aka Tom the Terrific, Hollow, uh, PSA 10, that was a beautiful card that sold, uh, what else did we say, was that it, I think we had, oh, and then a 2018 Topps Update, Ronald, Ronald Acuna, SGC 10. Uh, that was the last card that sold. So anyway, um, obviously those already shipped out, so I couldn't show them to you. Uh, so I apologize for the uh, two minutes there of basically uh, dead air time. But anyway, we're going to showcase these. So these are basically in the store right now. Uh, no auctions are ending this evening Friday, so these will end Saturday and Sunday. Um, so if you haven't got a chance, you can still look at these. And there's still some guys, there's low, low bids right now. So you get a chance to sneak up on some on some really high quality cards. Uh, great players in the hobby at a really good price. So uh, it's auction, so just give it your best shot. Anyway, um, so uh, we'll move this up a little bit. Uh, starting off, so we got SGC 10, uh, Fernando Tatis, Tops Finest. Great looking card. Um, the only thing that I think that they can see wrong with this, there's no service issues. It may be the centering a little bit left to right there. You can see that purple block there. Um, I'm going to have to go back and compare it to the 10s, but I think this may, should be me over just a tad off left to right. But anyway, uh, that's why I, I do like SGC 9.5 um, on this one. Uh, uh, Tatis, Rookie, Tops Finest. Um, this is the Chronicles. Let me move the up here and I think uh, just the light back off a little bit. There we go, a little less clear. Uh, this is Chronicles um, to a rookie. Uh, this is the select version. Great looking card too, especially with the maroon backgrounds there looking pretty pretty strong in the Alabama Uni. So it's a nice looking card. So there's the two there. SGC 10. Um, another SGC 10. This is an awesome looking card. Jason Tatum. This is from um, Fast Break. It's a far out uh, I don't know, variation or a far out insert, but kind of a mix of a disco with a bunch of other stuff going on. But as you can see there, there you go. There's the shine in her. So Jason Tatum, heck of a player. Uh, but this is SGC 10 on this insert there. Um, beautiful uh, second year Luca. So this is the Contenders. SGC season ticket. Very nice looking card. Uh, very base straight four, but uh, these are the cards that I think that over time will, will tend to have a little bit more demand than a chrome card, which may have a little bit more thickness in it. So I think that uh, a paper card uh, in a high grade uh, in general as they, as they um, uh, gain age, or as they, like I said, they, uh, they age, um, uh, they will gain value uh, just because these are going to be harder and harder to get in a high grade. So SGC 10 on that one. Um, awesome, awesome second year. Patrick McHolmes here, Optic. Uh, this is a 2018 Optic SGC 10. That card is perfect. Um, I'm surprised this one actually didn't get pristine only because when I uh, measured it with my tools, I did not see very much of variation at all with the border. Um, the um, service is, is basically perfect. So this was a little bit surprising to me. This didn't come out of pristine. Uh, so SGC 10 on that one. Um, rookie, Josh Allen. 
Uh, guy proved himself this year. Um, looks to have a hobby that's picking up strong. This is aluminum in the college uni. But the PSA 9 on this one, maybe a bit of an undergrade. Um, this would be a 9.5 and a SGC at the minimum. And uh, 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 an SGC grade for sure, 9.5. But PSA 9 on this Josh Allen rookie. Once again, guys, these are all active in the store right now. Um, now, this is a very nice card. Uh, early year, so it's 2006, right? Uh, sixth year. Um, that's not a 2016. 2006 Upper Deck Legends. Tom Brady, PSA 10. Um, this is one of those cards that I, I think could be a steal for somebody because uh, I think uh, not in the not too distant future, right? 10 years, obviously in 20 years, a card like this, um, <laughs> it's uh, once again, it's a paper card, um, early Tom Brady, PSA 10. Um, this this card will carry value and will continue to appreciate over the years. So beautiful card there, 2006 Upper Deck Legends Tom Brady. Um, the newer stuff here, so SGC. This is the uh, NBA debut, Tyler Hero, green mosaic, uh, pretty sick. Hair looks a little funky there on Tyler, but uh, awesome looking card there. Obviously with the mosaic shine, that's the green. And a once again, another flagship here, great card. Um, centering, man, this, let's put it this way, this is a tough nine. <laughs> this is a really tough nine. Um, once again, I mean, it may be off left to right, but I've got tens that are, you know, worse centered than this. Uh, this is, I call this the old, you know, gosh, <laughs> you know, 52, 47, right? It, it's, it's, it's not perfectly centered, but to me, there, it's not a, enough of a variation for it to be brought down a whole grade. Um, and again, it depends on the grade that day. So to me, this is a card that's undergraded. Um, if you take a look at the back, uh, same situation. Uh, this is a card that I think you submit it 10 times. You probably get five tens, five nines. This depending on PSA. That's the only problem I have with PSA is a little bit of the inconsistency in terms of the high grade and what's going on. Is it a pop control? Maybe, but um, yeah, this and this card I think is sitting at. I think this one's at a buck right now. <laughs> I could be wrong, but uh, with one or two days left. But uh, anyway, PSA nine on this Danny Thompson uh, flagship rookie. And then last we have a little bit of a newer card, but uh, still 2014 Panini Contenders Brady uh, PSA ten. Once again, um, uh, not everybody can afford a Tom Brady PSA ten rookie, right? But there are some nice earlier cards, and um, I do like picking up uh, the earlier stuff, whether if it's uh, an upper deck or a flare or something like that. Um, only because now, obviously, you know it, it's 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 panini, panini product only, panini or optic. Um, but it was kind of cool to pick up those earlier cards. May not necessarily a rookie, but uh, look for them, scan through them in high grade, send them off, and get some back like this. Um, so anyway, it's a PSA 10, 14 contenders, and then last, and this may be the steal of the uh, of the auctions guy. So it's a raw card, and I don't sell a whole lot of raw stuff. Um, but that's how to put this out there. So this is a 2009-10, I think. Uh, excuse me, I'm way off, man. Uh, yeah, it is, right? 9-10. Um, upper Deck. Uh, so this is a third-year Durant card. Um, and it's pretty clean, guys. Um, no surface issues. Um, I would take it out of here, but I don't want to... I don't like risking stuff that comes out. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, the card is 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 mint. Near mint to mint at the minimum. Um, like I said, it just depends on what you guys want to do with it. But um, I actually, I got a couple of these, three of them. So I decided to put one in auction. Um, they're sending, keeping one, keep sending one off the grade, but they're basically on the similar condition. But um, who's the player in the background? I, I, he looks familiar, but I can't remember the name. But anyway, uh, third year um, Durant card. Um, you know, once again, if this thing grades out high grade, uh, definitely an investment. But anyway, if you're a Durant collector and looking for something um, early, um, it's definitely affordable, so it's on there. I think this is, this is a. I don't think this has a bid on it. I'll be quite honest. I don't think it has a bid on it. So you can win this card for a buck. <laughs> uh, so take a look at it, guys. But anyway, we'll do this every week. So tomorrow, Saturday, I'll do the upcoming week. So by tomorrow, we'll have we'll be putting stuff in the store tonight. Uh, auctions we'll have tomorrow. We'll see next week's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday lineup. So about fifteen to twenty-five cards. Uh, but this is the cards are they're ending tomorrow and Sunday. So sorry for a short notice, but we'll basically from here on going forward, you'll be able to have at least a week uh, in advance to kind of see the cards. And like I said, if you're a subscriber, you get the inside track, right? I know there's thousands of cards on auction every week, um, but um, if you bought from us here, you know what we're all about. High quality, super fast shipping, well-protected cards. You're going to get it fast. You're going to get it in, in uh, fantastic shape. Um, no issues with the cards. All of our cases are go right into um, uh, protective sleeves as soon as we get them. Um, we handle all our cards, even graded cards with gloves. I didn't today because I think all these have um, um, perfect fits on them. So um, that's what we do here at Big League. So you're going to get the highest quality item uh, guaranteed here when you buy from us. So that's it, guys. Um, I appreciate any comments, but we'll be doing this every week. It's called the, the Weekend Showcase. 
Um, and those are the cards that, like I said, will be going out to this Friday. Um, gosh, what is the date? Maybe the date today, 7th? <laughs> is that the 8th and 9th of this week? But I'll make sure I have the dates going forward. I'll try to put it in the uh, description here for sure. Uh, that's it. I respect the hobby and have a good night. Thanks.